uh, and pretty much I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the least input lag for your mouse and or tablet. So the first step I have for you guys is go down to frame limiter and you guys can set this to unlimited. So when you set this to unlimited gameplay, what this will do is provide us with more frames and then pretty much it results in you getting lower latency. Uh, if you guys are having stuttering issues, you guys can also try checking reduced drop frames or compatibility mode. Um, but both of these give me more latency I've found, so just keep that in mind. The next thing you can do is scroll down to resolution and if you guys are not already playing on native full screen, what you guys can do is uh, either play native full screen or if you guys are playing a lower resolution, let's say you're playing 1366 by 768, what you can do is actually just uh, check letterboxing and then check full screen mode and what that will do is just put a black square around your game and it will allow for your game to be windowed but still be full screen. Alright, so the next thing you can do is actually detail settings. Uh, toggling most of these off will actually provide less latency, so a lot of these like storyboards, background video, they add lag to your game. Uh, so if you want less lag and you want less input lag, what you can do is just disable all these detail settings. Uh, one that I, I personally leave on is snaking sliders, but that's completely up to you. Alright, the next thing varies from person to person, but this is going to be raw input. So raw input, I generally have that on and I'm a tablet player. Uh, I feel like this is more, this works well for mouse players, but for tablet players you can experiment around with this. And if you find that you have less latency while playing with raw input on, then you can keep it on. If you don't feel a difference, then you know, it doesn't really matter I guess. But raw input does help some people with latency, so try checking it and see if it helps you out. Alright guys, so the next thing is actually going to be for NVIDIA users. Uh, there's a couple things you want to turn off in your NVIDIA control panel if you are an NVIDIA user. So what you want to do is you want to go to your desktop and you want to right click and go to NVIDIA control panel. Uh, after that, your NVIDIA control panel will pop up and we're just going to optimize some settings in here. So the first thing you want to go to is the top where it says adjust image settings with preview. You want to click on that and then you want to make sure that use the advanced 3D image settings is on. Uh, so you want to select that and then just select apply. Once that's applied, you want to go over to manage 3D settings, which is right below it. And this is pretty much where you're going to be changing everything. So most of this you're just going to leave the same. Uh, the only thing you want to change right here is going to be maximum pre-rendered frames. So maximum pre-rendered frames, you want to set this to 1. And what that's going to do is it's pretty much going to reduce your input lag by a lot. Um, and then multi-display slash mix GPU acceleration. If you guys have multiple monitors, obviously you want to leave this on multiple display. But if you guys have a single monitor, then you want to make sure it's on single display. All right, going down power management mode, put this on prefer maximum performance, scroll down even more and you will see vertical sync. This is very important to have off. So you just want to toggle vertical sync off and also make sure that triple buffering is off as well. And once you have made sure that those are off and maximum pre-render frames is set to one, you're pretty much good to go. Alright guys, so the next thing we have here is going to be um, your actual windows like aesthetic settings pretty much. So you want to go to your PC and you want to right click it and go to properties. And then you're going to open your systems tab. You want to go to advanced system settings and then over in here, you're going to go to advanced the advanced tab again. And then you'll see performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. So you want to go here and you want to click on settings. And then you want to go to uh, visual effects and you want to go custom. And then I'll have an image on the screen, but the ones that are highlighted are going to be the ones that you want to toggle off because they're pretty much useless. Uh, all they're there for is just aesthetics um, and you don't really need them for you know anything uh, like they're not useful pretty much is what I'm trying to say so they're not useful uh, which means you can just toggle them off and that will maybe give you a couple frames 
All right, so the next tip I have for you guys, this does, doesn't really have anything to do with input lag, but what you guys wanna do is go to control panel, and once you guys are in control panel, you wanna search for mouse, uh, and you just wanna go change mouse settings, and you wanna go here and go to the pointer, um, yeah, the pointer options tab. So once you're there, uh, you wanna look at your thing and make sure that the window sensitivity is on the sixth notch. Um, so you just count from the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it should be on the sixth notch. Uh, and then below you have enhanced pointer precision. You wanna have this toggled off uh, because this pretty much just gives your mouse, uh, mouse acceleration, which is bad pretty much for aim, uh, both in Counter-Strike and Osu. So if you are a mouse player, uh, I think this might apply for your tablet as well, I'm not sure. But you just want to make sure that enhanced pointer precision is toggled off. Alright guys, so the next tip I have for you is just to keep all your drivers updated. So if you guys have AMD drivers, Nvidia drivers, doesn't really matter. Just make sure all your drivers stay updated uh, to make sure that your performance is optimal. Uh, because if you have outdated drivers, and this applies for anything, your keyboard, your mouse, uh, your tablet of course, um, Pretty much if you have outdated drivers then that can really affect the performance of your hardware so just make sure everything's up to date uh, and one thing with the tablet is you can actually download some older uh, wacom tablet drivers that have less input lag but for me i just found that it's better to just stick with the latest drivers uh, if you do want like lower input lag if you're all about the low input lag and you want some really low input lag drivers you can just google around and find you know the Wacom drivers with the least amount of latency but that's something that you know you can do if you want alright guys so one more tip I have is actually uh, Xbox DVR so if you're on Windows 10 uh, this only applies for Windows 10 users but if you're on Windows 10 there was this Xbox app right that gets forcefully added uh, onto your system and pretty much what it does is there's a feature inside called Xbox DVR and it's automatically enabled and what it does is pretty much it records your games or it's like there is like sort of um, like an ability to record your games for whatever reason it caps your FPS at 30 uh, so it's really bad and what you guys can do is if you guys use the Xbox app you guys can go into the Xbox uh, app and go into the settings and actually disable uh, game DVR I think it's called or whatever uh, if you guys don't use the Xbox app at all uh, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen uh, to a thing where you can actually insert it into your PowerShell uh, in administrator mode and it will delete the Xbox app and then after it's deleted uh, you might want to just restart your computer and then Xbox app should be gone and obviously Xbox DVR will be disabled as well.